we do have a dark and stormy sky in La Junta right now. You can see that the wind is also picking up. The uh, camera is shaking just a little bit and we've got some thunderstorms along and south of Highway 50 this evening, but I'm also watching watching some darkening clouds near Woodland Park. A few isolated storms are also possible in the Pikes Peak region in the next couple of hours. So our main complex of storms that has been mostly hanging out into Bent County this afternoon is producing a lot of rainfall and that's why we have this flash flood warning. It's in effect until nine o'clock this evening. This is where we've had one to two inches of rainfall. Plus, it's still actively raining in this box. Plus, we've got this severe thunderstorm warning that covers Wiley and Lamar. In this hail core here, we could see the potential of one to one inch hail sto stones or up to one and a quarter inch hail stones and 70 mile per hour winds. You're probably already feeling those winds in Lamar. That hail is likely to come within the next probably 10 to 15 minutes. So apart from that complex of storms, we have a few lingering showers towards Levita, Walsenburg. We've had a couple rounds of showers there today. And then that tiny little cloud in Woodland Park, you can see we're getting some radar returns now with a few very isolated showers in the Pikes Peak region. So very hit or miss thunderstorm activity today. I'll be tracking it for the rest of this evening. After sunset, most of these storms will start to lose their strength but a few storms may linger into the overnight. In particular, this forecast model liking the idea of some storms hanging out between Highway 50 and I-70 this evening, uh, and they'll start to dissipate by 1 to 2 a.m. So in terms of smoke, that's the other thing in the sky we've been monitoring. It does look like our wind will shift directions a bit tonight. Some more of that thick smoke and haze will move into the plains, but generally the worst air quality will be up into northern Colorado. The Palmer Divide kind of acting as a barrier to that smoke for the most part. Temperature wise, we are in the 80s and 90s this evening cooler where you've had some showers. Tonight we're going to drop to the 60s in the plains, mostly 50s in the mountains, and tomorrow we're going to have another toasty day. 80s and 90s, a couple degrees above average. And also tomorrow another chance of some hit or miss thunderstorms. They'll pop up after about noon, first in the mountains and then later on into the plains. The storms tomorrow could last well into the nighttime, similar to how tonight's storms may play out. Here's by midnight, still a few showers lingering. And then better moisture overall is going to come once we head into next week. We'll have more of a typical monsoon pattern setting up, and so you'll see more numerous thunderstorms likely, especially starting Tuesday. So tomorrow, isolated thunderstorm possible in Colorado Springs. By Saturday, we're going to be drier as we head through the weekend, at least for I-25 and eastern Colorado. The mountains will still see a decent amount of storms over the weekend. Next week is when we'll start to see some heat relief, a couple of 80s popping up in the forecast, and a daily afternoon thunderstorm chance. For Pueblo, an isolated storm is possible tomorrow. We're looking drier though and pretty hot for the weekend, upper 90s on Sunday and Monday, and then we'll see that better monsoon pattern set up by the middle of next week. Canyon City, a similar setup for you. Could see an isolated storm tomorrow, a little drier and still hot for the weekend. Mostly hot next week, but a better chance of seeing those afternoon rain showers. And for Woodland Park, we're almost looking at a daily chance of thunderstorms. I'm thinking Saturday will be the drier day looking ahead.